Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2015. In this episode, I'd like to make a couple more changes that'll just complete the whole lecture series and make sure that I cover all the topics that I wanted to cover. So let's start here with spawning some robots. Our core needs to be ready in order to do so. So in this section here where we've checked that rc.iscore ready, let's make sure that we're an archon. I also don't want the leader archon to spawn any robots, so let's do this. If id is greater than zero, that means that we're an archon and that we're not the leader. Let's also check that rc.canBuild. The direction that we're going to build this robot is just moving direction. And the robot type will specify as Viper. If we can build, then let's go ahead and do so. rc.build in the moving direction, robot type dot viper. Once we've built something, we won't be able to move because it causes core delay. So we'll go ahead and return here so that we don't get to this moving attempt. The next thing I wanted to do is change the goal location for our followers. Right now, they add to the Archon's location its direction times 2. Let's increase that to 5 so that the followers are significantly far away from the Archon, which gives him some breathing room to move around. In the utility method, the pass locations array is currently at size 20. Let's change it to 5 so that robots don't remember so much where they have been and they make it more easier to path around. Lastly, I'd like to randomize the direction that we're moving. Here where the Archon is sending instructions to its followers, let's increase that location in the following way. The place where we're going is our location plus our moving direction. We want to see if that location is off the map. So what we do is type if rc dot on the map a head location. And that'll tell us whether that location is on the map. If it's not on the map using the exclamation point operator, then we need to change that direction. Or just periodically I'd like to change it. So if it's not on the map, or, and I did that by holding the shift key and pressing the key that's under backspace, which I call a pipe, and this is the OR operator. So if we're off the map, or if rc.getRoundNum mod 200 equals 199, so once every 200 turns. And I don't want it to start on turn zero because I like our original direction. If those things are true, then let's get a random direction. We'll replace our moving direction with that random direction. And when we broadcast the message, it will replace it for all the robots on the team. So we'll make a new method here. And it will very simply return a direction.values indexed at an integer, which is math.random times 8. math.random gives us a number from 0 to 1. If we multiply it by 8, we get a number from 0 to 8. And if we cast it to an integer, then we get an integer from 0 to 7, not including 8. And that's exactly correct because we have 8 directions from which to choose. OK. With these changes, our robot should behave as we expect. Let's try it out. We should see that our robots, which are not leaders, are being spawned, and they're moving together as a pack. The pack is getting big and full of vipers, and that it avoids the walls and changes direction. That's a lot of things. Sure enough, we see vipers getting spawned, and notice that the Archon has to wait after the viper is spawned. This is the core delay that's incremented after a unit is built. The blue team is doing a slightly better job of staying together than the red team. But overall, both teams are sticking together. 
in this map, I haven't defined any values for the zombie spawn schedule. So there aren't any zombies spawning naturally at these dens. But because we have a bunch of these vipers, when they attack and destroy an opponent, zombies can be created. I hope this series of videos has introduced you to a couple of concepts, very basic concepts, in programming in Java. A lot of it you'll figure out on your own as you go, and from friends. Um, feel free to ask us questions. You can leave a comment below in this video, or you can visit our forum, or our IRC channel. And really, ask us anything, any question at all, and we're happy to help you learn. This is pretty exciting. I, I'm just uh, mesmerized here by this combat. To some extent, the teams are cooperating to destroy this den, but to some extent, they are just attacking one another. There are other methods that we haven't included. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that was overwhelming. Okay. Um, anyway, that'll do for this lecture series, I think. And uh, see you at the sprint tournament. Bye.